to our uh, social networking event here at the uh, Rick uh, and uh, Osita uh, seminar series. Uh, my name is David Pasika, and I will be the moderator uh, for today's uh, event. Uh, I'm the entrepreneur in residence uh, here at the Rick Center. And uh, I'm delighted to be um, with everyone here today on a very interesting and informative topic. So uh, this is a representation of the social graph. It's why we're here and talking about this today. And if you remember an old ad um, from, I actually don't even know how long it is, but it was for Pantene, and it was the she tells two friends ad. And then she tells two friends, and then she tells two friends. That explains why social networking works. So does this. So if I'm at the center of this, I'm connected to a whole bunch of people. I may be connected to them on Facebook. It may be through email, Twitter, instant messaging, or it may actually be in person, although, of course, that's increasingly rare these days. And the point is that when I do something online, what I do spreads out through those yellow connections between everybody, and that's why social networking works. Uh, this was a great quote. Um, I encourage you guys to go to the Management Innovation Group. I think there's a lot of great resources there. Um, they say, social media platforms that neglect to put the customer first never fail to fail. I think that all companies should keep that in mind. And also, they said, a social media platform doesn't simply mean adding an online form or blog. It requires a shift in organizational mindset. So oftentimes, you see in startup companies and organizations, uh, the web person is sort of this, oftentimes this lone alien doing their thing. And no one else really knows what they're doing, but they're kind of tasked with um, being the online presence for the entire company. Um, this is a, a huge deal. And uh, I think it would make a lot more sense to sort of have that strategy and their knowledge a little bit more flat and shared amongst the whole team. Um, and it can go a long way. And for, for a whole, whole organization to stand behind their online presence is a really important thing. Um, just a quote from uh, the VP of uh, Marketing at McDonald's. It's not about technology and wanting to be online constantly. It's about wanting to belong and being connected constantly. And I think that's what we're seeing more with um, online networks is that it's a sense of belonging and uh, community. So how do we get started in with this and, and, and building a framework around it? Well, there's a few sort of steps that we need to follow. Listening, we need to listen to our consumers. We need to build relationships with consumers and engage with them and then build communities for them. I'm going to talk particularly today about Facebook and Twitter. We don't have a lot of time, and obviously we could go into a great amount of depth, and we could talk about blogging, uh, as Tony asked a question about earlier. But I'm going to talk particularly today about strategies for Facebook and for Twitter. Um, obviously, if you want to look into other things, there's, uh, there's blogging, there's that sort of stuff. This is a, a big world full of opportunity. There's almost no barrier to entry here, and there's no cost. So if you want to go out and start Twittering for yourself, maybe before you're comfortable doing that for your company and you want to speak to a PR professional before you represent your actual brand online, go out and start Twittering on your own because you can try this and experiment with it and you don't need to hire somebody or pay any kinds of fees. You can just go and get started. A damn good production.